hilarious Alex has managed to get the tube stuck inside the chassis. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to take the front and back axle off, which Alex is gonna be working on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be filling in some of the porosity that we had on some of the more rusty areas. We need to clean it up properly and fill them back in with weld. Once we've got the axles off, we'll be flipping it over and I can weld the last bit of the rear cross member. So guys, what we were going to do um, with this chassis was Lewis and I were going to obviously finish up all of the welding and then we were going to try and clean up the chassis and the axles as best as possible with hand tools uh, for the purpose of painting. Um, we've realised that not only would that take forever, the quality would be quite poor, particularly in the intricate areas um, and also it'd be incredibly boring for you to watch. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip all of this back, get everything off the way we want it, and then we're gonna get a mobile sandblaster to come down here and blast the axles, blast the chassis, and then we'll be ready for paint. Right guys, we're gonna start taking off the uh, front axle. Um, so we're going to undo this bracket here, um, which start, uh, attaches to the steering mechanism there. Um, and we're going to loosen off the shock towers, undo the sway bar and disconnect the radius arms and then the whole axle should come out. There we are guys, got those axles off. All these jobs would be so simple if only you had a lift, but doing it in a tent in your garden is a bit of a struggle, but there it is, no broken bones. We've got the axles off. Um, so at some point we need to flip it over. Um, Lewis can then weld up the bottom of the replacement piece. Uh, we can get any brackets off um, that we don't want on there for the sandblasting process. Um, and then we'll have to completely dismantle the axles as well to get all the, all the additional things like sway bars, all of the uh, steering assembly at the front, uh, radius arms on the front, springs, etc. Need to get them off so that the uh, chap who comes and does the sandblasting's got a real good run at the uh, at the axles. We are about to start stripping off the axles. Uh, you will see Lewis there modeling the awesome Juice Motors t-shirts that we got. If you guys like those, head over to Juice Motors page. We'll link it down in the description below and you can pop over there and grab yourself a t-shirt. Um, we've got some big boy tools out now to start trying to crack these enormous nuts and bolts off the axle. OK, 
today guys you will have seen us taking off uh, the springs from here we've managed to crack off that end of the sway bar with little issue this side um, these have split pins in them um, and this one was complete mush it would not come out every time you tried to pull it uh, bits just came off with the pliers so um, we sort of had to stress it break it stress it break it and hammer it into the point that the split pin is no longer in the way of the nut however now because this is so rotten it's fused to the bolt which is just turning within this ball joint so i now need to dig out the grinder i'm going to cut straight through there um, all of this assembly will be replaced anyway so it doesn't really matter Now we are going to take the caliper off and we're going to take the um, brake cover off the back. Um, but we're going to leave the rotor and the hub assembly in situ because for the sandblasting, what we don't want is for the half shaft um, to be exposed at this end or, or essentially for the axle to fill with sand. So we're going to leave the hub assembly on. A lot of it will get changed over um, and, and so it won't really be affected if it gets blasted. So before the sandblasting happened, we were quite focused on getting everything ready and prepared and we didn't do any filming. So sorry to jump straight into the sandblasting now. Um, but if you guys want any further details on who we used and who produced that amazing result for us, his name is Charlie Gray and his details are down below in the description. Right guys, there we are. You will have just seen the chassis and the axles getting sandblasted. Uh, we've had a bit of a clean up in the tent here, but it is a truly incredible job. Um, this chassis looks like new, it is amazing. Um, so the plan now is we're gonna clean up a little bit, try and get as much sand out of the tent as possible. Um, and then we are going to start laying some paint on it um, because this is bare metal now and we need to keep it protected. That's the front axle there. And we had these components done, radius arms, um, the A-frame back there, which is completely seized together with one bolt that we can't get out. Um, so we might have to invest in another one at this rate. And there is the rear axle. And they have come out absolutely mint. We're so, so happy with the condition of 
the chassis, the axles, and the quality of the work. Right, guys, we've uh, done a bit of a clean up in here. We're just letting a bit more dust settle. Going to wet the floor uh, so that everything sticks to the ground as well for painting. And the products we are going to use, um, first thing we're going to do is the inside of the rails. Uh, obviously those haven't been sandblasted, uh, but we've got this Buzzwelds cavity paint here um, and this is supposedly uh, got some rust inhibitor as well. So we'll spray that in with this uh, 360 degree lance, get it in everywhere we can, allow that to sort of settle, drip, and then that'll give us a nice area and clean surface uh, to lay the paint on the outside of the chassis. And what we are doing on there is we have been in touch with uh, Frost. I can't recommend these guys highly enough. I uh, was on the phone to them. They were really, really helpful, really knowledgeable. Um, they sell a number of different paints, but we've gone for their own brand. So we've got some 1K self-etching primer. We'll lay two coats of that on the outside of the chassis. Um, and then probably in the next video, we've got Frost Extreme Chassis Black. Again, two coats of that all over the chassis. The axles and the components that we've decided to reuse, radius arms, trailing arms, uh, A-frame hopefully, uh, we'll be getting the exact same treatment. Two, uh, two coats of primer and then two coats of Extreme Chassis Black. Right guys, so we have now um, used the uh, cavity paint, as you can see it leaking out of all of these holes. Um, and now we're gonna lay some primer. We've jacked the chassis up using the engine crane uh, in the hope that we'll be able to get all the way around it um, in a single pass. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how much success we have there. Limited success with the cavity paint because I got the end of the lance stuck inside the chassis rail over there So I had to cut our own holes in it and I'm not sure how successful it was further back um, But you'll remember from a previous video we cut open the top of the chassis and things were looking pretty good in there uh, So fingers crossed that's just an extra layer of protection and it won't necessarily be needed. Um, and we will be running either a wax oil or a Dynatrol product inside um, when we're done painting and the vehicles back together, which will give another layer of protection. So now we're gonna lay primer. guys we're gonna have to leave it there for today uh, we had wanted to lay the black but we just sort of run out of time for the day run out of time with the video um, so it's been a hot long day but we've got the primer down so the chassis is safe now and so are the axles so the main thing is we're good for from a rust point of view and we'll lay the black next time absolutely thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and like our videos guys thanks very much cheers